God Save the King was adopted as the official national anthem of the United Kingdom at the beginning of the 19th century, having been initially performed in London back in 1745. The author of the song is unknown, but the phrase God Save the King can be traced back to the Old Testament part of the Bible. When the people said those words, they were really asking God to preserve and prosper their monarch. Of course, at times, kings and queens do need to be saved from situations of danger. Back in 1994, King Charles himself was at the centre of an assassination attempt when an Australian man, David Kang, fired a pistol in his direction at an event in Sydney before being tackled to the ground. But while everyone at times needs to be saved from situations and circumstances, the Bible teaches that we all, King Charles included, have a much greater need to be saved from our sins. Thankfully, the Bible says Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. He's described in the Bible as the King of Kings, the creator of the universe who, amazingly, left his throne in heaven, clothed himself in a humble human body and entered into a broken, messed up world to save the very people who had disobeyed his commandments and rejected his rule. In the lead up to his death, Jesus was given a purple cloak to imitate a royal robe, a stick to imitate a royal scepter and a twisted mass of long, jagged thorns to imitate a royal crown. He was led through the streets of Jerusalem to a place called Calvary to imitate a royal procession. And when they reached that destination, instead of a royal throne, he was given an old, rugged cross. On that cross, the king of creation took the place, the punishment and the pain for us, his rebellious creatures, and he paid the price required to save us from our sins. Today, he offers salvation to those willing to turn from their sins, trust in him, and enthrone him in their hearts, making him their Lord and King. I wonder if you will pledge your allegiance to him today and let him reign over your life.